similar stuff. First of all, you give us an update on the, 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 the injuries and the head count is sort of a walking wound or by the end yesterday? Yeah, there was a few. Um, uh, Chris Farrell confirmed concussion, so uh, he won't uh, recover in time the Thursday. Uh, Rob Carney passed uh, his HA2, so he's in, sort of in that process. Uh, Ty came on the pitch, back onto the pitch, Ty Furlong did, so he's, um, he's, he's fine as well. So, uh, yeah, those are the kind of, I guess, the, the three obvious ones um, from, um, from a head, in, head injury assessment perspective. Johnny, sorry. Johnny, just wanted to ask you what it was like watching it uh, from, the, from the sidelines yesterday. Yeah, it was obviously a tough game to watch, uh, as they all are. Even if things went brilliant, it's tough to watch when you're not involved. Um, so yeah, very frustrating. Frustrating. I mean, were were you frustrated that you weren't involved? Do you think you could have made a difference to things? No, I just frustrated that I was on the pitch and that I couldn't help the lads out. Uh, and obviously things uh, didn't go our way. And uh, yeah, you 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 want to have things in your control. Um, when you're sitting in the stand, there's not much you can do about it. So, um, yeah. There's a bit of confusion, I guess, as to how fit you actually are. I mean, Joe said you were okay to play, but you weren't selected. I mean, do you feel like you're fit? Or are you raring to go and ready to play? Yeah, one thing about this uh, team uh, is that we, we backed the squad, the 31 guys. We said that when we picked the squad, that everyone that's here is, is ready to play. And, uh, you know, when I picked up that, that, that strain against. Um, Against Scotland, and I wasn't going to train Monday, Tuesday, um, fully. You know, the the preparation time is, is so short in a six-day turnaround that, um, you know, the guys made the decision to, to sit with this one out. So, look, you want to play every game, um, especially in a World Cup. But um, hopefully, I can pay back, you know, the squad with with a good performance this week um, and next and beyond. Hopefully. Where did it go wrong for the lads? Uh, there's lo there's lots of things we had a look at it this morning. Um, you know, it's very early to look at things. Normally we wouldn't do that um, straight away, but you know, with the, again the, the short day turn uh, five day turnaround this week, um, we we felt we needed to, to to sit down and talk about a few things and uh, just it wasn't one thing. Um, you know, you can, discipline was obviously a big thing that we don't normally do, and um, we seem to get. You know, any marginal decision was on the, we were on the wrong side of it, um, which is fine. You know, we looked at those penalties today, and yeah, they can they can be penalties. So we've got to look at ourselves there and say that discipline wasn't good enough. Um, you know, there was a lot of access points we gave them, and discipline being you know top of the list. Um, you know, we didn't we, we had them under pressure a few times, and we let them out, and we didn't exit a couple of times as well as we should have. So there's lots of just like sort of one or two things in each department that. Add it up, and uh, when you give a great, uh, very good team like Japan, you know they play brilliantly on the day. You got to give them a lot of credit as well. Um, but I thought I thought the boys started really well to go 12-3 up. We, we couldn't have asked for much more in the first 20-25 minutes, but then those errors and access points just crept in. There are lots of different bits. What's the team behind that? Is there a sense of what maybe the prep wasn't perfect and led to that? No, I think as a as a coach, you always kind of look back at what uh, what you've prepared, um, see if you would would have changed anything. I don't think there is anything we would have changed. We we knew how how uh, much of a threat Japan were going to be, uh, how much of a threat they'd pose. Um, they obviously probably were disappointed with their opening um, game against Russia, the way they performed, although they won and got the the uh, uh, the bonus point. So I want to get that answer. Um, so I think the when you look back at the game, there's like Johnny said, there's there's there's, there's, there's little things that we didn't uh, quite execute as well as we would have liked. Um, we had 25 minutes, nearly 30 minutes uh, of high tempo, um, you know, good territory, good possession, and and we were. You know, we were ahead on the scoreboard, and I think it could have been we could have been further ahead at that stage. But um, and then for sort of between thirty and forty, and then forty and fifty after the break, um, we had we lost two lineouts, one just inside um, 
their half and, and they got three points off the back of that and one on the goal line and you you lose you lose the chance to build more momentum build more pressure and I, and I think that's um, you know that was probably the frustration one I mean that, you know I think like Johnny said they, they played they played well you know and we knew that they would come out of the blocks and we knew that they'd have threats across the park and they'd stretch us and I think um, when we had the ball uh, for that first quarter of the game that first maybe that first third of the game to 30 minutes we actually uh, were in control we're in control of the scoreboard and in control of territory and control of possession and and then we um, you know, we dropped off a little bit and, and unfortunately that's when we just let them back into the game they chipped away at three six nine points and and um, and then obviously they got ahead uh, sort of early and well reasonably early in that second half and and um, you know, we weren't able to then either get a field position uh, or hold on to the ball for long enough to, to, to put them under enough pressure so like Johnny said there's, there's little things it's not you know I, th I think uh, you'll always you always look at yourself first and and, and um, certainly look at the areas that, that we can get better and control and I think there's plenty of those things. Um, frustrations around other areas of the game which uh, sometimes are outside of our control but we need to make sure that we're better at what we can control. Johnny, in your view, was there a sense of panic at all in the team? For example, if you were on the pitch, is there anything you would have said or done to uh, help them do anything differently to kind of get back on track when the game was getting away from them? Um, it's very hard to know unless you're in the on the pitch at the time. You, you know you don't know when. Sometimes you can say the best things, and if you're not doing the basics well enough, and you're, you know, giving away, like we speak about those access points to Japan. If you give them them and you give away penalties like we did, well, you know you can say all you want, but um, you know it's your actions that ultimately um, decide how the game goes. And you know there's lots of little things that we just don't normally do that we did yesterday and. Uh, yeah, we've got to figure out why it happened. Um, I suppose the only blessing in disguise the last two World Cups I've been involved in, we've we've not cruised through the group, but we've had everything go our way in in the pool stages, and then we've we've had the day that we had yesterday in the quarter final, and we'd be going home today. And the great thing now is that we've got uh, the rest of the pool to 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 get things together. We we know that to a certain extent things are in our own hands in terms of if we can win the the last two games. Um, and score a number of tries that we we can you know definitely qualify for the quarterfinal. If that's in first or second place, that's out of our control. So we won't worry about that. That's that's done now. Um, so it's up to us now to, to put in two big performances, and uh, hopefully get ourselves into a quarterfinal. And we know that if we can get there, that um, you know we've got a chance. Can you learn from any of the other setbacks that have happened in this calendar year in terms of how you responded from them? Yeah, we've responded re uh, really well in terms of the other setbacks. Um, you know, you go as, as recently as things weren't going away. At the start of the Six Nations, we, we turned things around. We had a brilliant performance against France. Um, things went bad against England. We turned it around and beat Wales back to back, who were, I think, 24 8 up against Australia. Um, so, you know, they're a very good team. We beat them and we started with a bang last week against Scotland. So, yeah, if we can go on a bit of a run now, um, a five game winning run would be great. Uh, that would do nicely. Johnny, do you feel that maybe there was so much pressure going into the Scotland game and then off the back of that great performance that maybe um, there wasn't as much, em obviously there was in the build-up to Japan, but there was so much emphasis on that Scotland game that maybe it took away from the Japan game a bit? Well, we, yeah, that's true in terms of that we took we took the Scotland game so seriously that we prepared for it for the course of two weeks um, and we didn't sort of look forward at all. And um, That was the respect that we showed to Scotland, but we, we prepared really well for it. You know, Japan game as well. Um, just on the day, we didn't do the small things that we spoke about already. We didn't do them well enough, and it's that's that's the game. You know, we had lots of access points at twelve three where we could have scored um, again, and we we let them off the hook to a certain extent. Um, you know, if we score then, it can be a totally different game. So uh, lots of small things to, to fix up on, but uh, you know, we've got two games now that we need to really throw ourselves into and. Uh, Hopefully, get into a quarter final. So, take the last one in this section. Do you expect Robbie Henshaw to be fit this weekend? I'm also kind of asking about losing Jack. Yeah, um, Robbie ran really well yesterday, um, but we obviously have to take a view on, on uh, his selection when we get back to training. So, but he's, he's, he's doing really well. I'm really pleased, I think, with his progress. Uh, 
Jack, unfortunately, Jack Conan has had to leave, and, and um, you know, it's a real blow. I think, you know, I think he's uh, he's come on um, usually in the last 12 months. Uh, you know, not just at provincial level, but international level. You know, he's a quality rugby player and can break the game up. And um, he's a bit of a freak with the ball in hand, so it's a it's a real loss uh, for the group. But we are very fortunate that uh, Jordan Murphy will be joining us, and and. Uh, he um, he gives us great coverage. He's, he's been in the squad, you know, for a number of years, and uh, he's played in some big games for this team. Uh, and he can cover every position in the back row, which uh, which obviously gives us uh, a good good deal of um, sort of flexibility across that back row. And things starting to to um, to, to ramp up a little bit. And and um, you know, as we go through the tournament, you know, guys will pick up bumps and niggles. And you know, it's great to have uh, Geordie coming in and. Uh, He'll slot straight in uh, this week.